Project 2.1, the 555 Time Machine. This project explores timekeeping and other digital aspects essential to electronics. The main component of the circuit is the 555 timer IC. Made up of several sub-circuits, this IC processes oscillation with high slash low signals. These sub-circuits can be built plain and have the same exact effect as the 555 timer IC. The inputs of this circuit are set to a stable mode. A stable mode means that high time and low time of oscillation are not equal values. The program inputs consist of two resistors put in a voltage division system and a capacitor wired to ground. The first output is to discharge, which is only open when the circuit is on low time. The second output is to the trigger and threshold inputs of the 555. The trigger and threshold are wired to the next phase, which consists of two operational amplifiers named set and reset. The op amps balance their input signals and place an output of 1 if the non-inverter, which is positive, is greater than the inverter, which is negative, and likewise it places a 0 if the inverter is greater than the non-inverter. Trigger is wired to the inverter reset, threshold is the opposite, it is wired to the non-inverter of set. The remaining inputs for both op amps are wired to a voltage divider within the 555 chip. The last sub-circuit is the SR latch, otherwise known as the flip-flop. It uses two NOR gates with their inputs wired, one to the op-amp output and the other to the other NOR gate. This creates an oscillating loop of feedback. This table describes the NOR gate input from the op-amps and what the output looks like. For reference, output Q' prime is simply put back into the input of R on the other lead of the NOR gate. This diagram from Falstad shows the current movement within the 555 IC with a stable program inputs. For this circuit's output, two LEDs are put through a NOT gate and two others are put back through the 555. And that's the 555 IC timer.